Welcome to Sri Balaji Academy. This is English class for all of you. So today we are going to see about verb. So last class we have seen all, all those three which is comes as a first. Today we are going to see about uh, sorry last, last class we have seen about first two types of noun and pronoun. Now we are going to see about verb. Okay. So uh, today we are going to see about verb so for that we want to know what verb uh, while defining the, all those eight types i have told you what do, what is the meaning for verb is it so now simply you can say a verb as a action word verb as a action word alone so simply you can tell it as a action word but so here also we have a lot of verbs uh, we have a uh, six types of verbs also Six types are in the six types we have a lot of uh, uh, not types not a lot of uh, verbs also there uh, for example so actually without a verb you can't make any uh, sentence so verb is playing a main role to make a sentence uh, for example in Tamil you can say non uh, so on the Eldinen Abdinger and the Vartha Illa Abdina you can't make that uh, sentence it and the vaarthi and the vaakiyame illama poi so uh, like that in english also you, uh, if i tell one sentence like uh, i write she writes like that means there also uh, you can't make any sentence without a verb so which is very important for a sentence means verb so without a verb you can't make any sentence okay so which is important here verb only i have told what is the meaning for verb so that is action word so you can tell verb another uh, meaning or state of being you can tell state of being so what do you mean state of being uh, I, I have told the meaning for state of uh, state in our uh, last video also state means not tamil nadu karnataka and the that one okay so state means how you are and how that thing should be so being means okay state of being uh, things or else person and the belayo aladhi and the main verb in the name of irikkan soldra the one the state of being so verb is called as a action word or else uh, state of uh, being we can tell okay so here we have a uh, six types okay we here we have a uh, six types so we can uh, tell it as a describing verbs also okay Disc uh, one one verbs describe being an action one verb describing a st state of being so describing action first this is not a uh, types okay uh, it it may be action words mean describing a action okay describing a action here and then uh, state of being means uh, uh, describing a state of being describing a state of being uh, for example of i will give one one example for first one and second one okay describing a state of being uh, first for the first one example is i walked so else i walk for the first one example what means i walk okay so here what is the action walk okay so describing action here what is the action uh, walk is the action so that's why we have we, we are giving the i giving the i'm giving the uh, sentence of walk okay i walk so state of being means i feel okay i feel sad so here feel is not any action okay instead of that that is a state of being how you are so you are in this uh, mood of uh, sad okay so that this is the difference between describing action or else and describing a uh, state of being so here you have a uh, six types of verb so first one is action verb okay first one action verb and then second one is transitive verb second one transitive verb uh, here you have a uh, sorry i will tell you the example later by when i described all those third one is intransitive verb action verb transitive verb and then intransitive verb uh, actually transitive and intransitive verb uh, uh, both are same not the same uh, sim uh, similar only but you have some difference that i will tell you later and then fourth one is linking verb fourth one is linking verb fifth one 
you want to uh, fifth one is that uh, state of being only uh, state of being is how it should be like that okay and then uh, so fifth one is helping verbs and then final only final one is a uh, uh, that state of uh, being verb or like that stative verbs you can tell it as a stative verbs stative verbs so these are all these all those things is a kinds of verb stative verb so here uh, action verbs transitive verbs intransitive verbs linking verbs helping verbs stative verbs is it so first one is what action verbs is it uh, action verbs i have told uh, already action verbs means what is it so what do you mean action verbs so any verb can uh, any verbs give some works means that is called as a action verbs actually that works done by done by uh, subject must be done by a subject means actually most verbs are a action verbs only because that uh, this that verb describing the works describe the works which is done by a subject for example here uh, Uh, action verbs means uh, exam. Uh, the definition for that means uh, describe things a person can do or demonstrate. Okay, so describing a it is describing a action which is done by describing a action which is which is sorry which okay so which is done by subject which is done by subject. So here you have doubt. What do you mean subject that you want to uh, that you want to know? Done by su uh, subject means that even if you take one sentence means if you take one sentence means which is comes as a first means that is comes under the subject. So subject plus verb here subject plus verb means what is subject here means uh, any noun or else pronoun comes as a subject. I I told this in a uh, while teaching a uh, pronoun also. So any noun or else a pronoun comes as a subject. Uh, for example here uh, we have taken one name okay sita sita dance dances okay sita dances actually here we have a third person singular third person singular means are near to the verb we want to add as that is the important one don't forget in a simple present tense this rule will be followed uh, well follow and here action verb which is a action here means dance sita nadanam aadinal in and the or nadanam abdingra and the or vaartha illama that uh, sentence will not be complete so here we need one verb so that is called as a action verb actually uh, that uh, verb that works done by whom that subject if any Uh, subject did any works means that is uh, comes under as a action verbs so this is about action verbs mm. and then second one is what means so the second one is a uh, transitive verb okay this is transitive verb and then intransitive verb i have told when i uh, tell the name of transitive verb and uh, it have uh, similar which is means similar things mean which is object actually if you have the first one is transitive verb and the second one is intransitive verb is it so here in transitive verb it must be followed with a uh, it must be followed with the object okay the object uh, if you have the object in that uh, sentence means that verb follow that object followed by any verb means that is called as a transitive verb for example sam wants a yeah, bike okay sam wants a bike this is a example here okay so mostly you have a question from transitive verb and intransitive verb it is most important it is the most important one because uh, you have the question from transitive definitely you will have the question from transitive verb and intransitive verb here sam wants a bike um so how do you find It, uh, whether it is a transitive or else intransitive verb means you want first you want to read the sentence here sam wants a bike is it sam wants a bike subject sam verb wants it do some work is it so first you want uh, where, how do you find whether it is a transitive verb or else intransitive verb means next one what here bike sam wants means what uh, if i tell uh, uh, tell the sentence to you sam wants means what is your question to me what 
did what do he want is it what do he want so what is the question a bike so ultimately it is a direct object so uh, uh, any verb followed by a direct object means followed by a direct object means that is called as a transitive verb okay followed by a uh, direct object followed by a direct object means that is called as a transitive so here this is a transitive verb so this is transitive verb uh, another one example is alien sorry uh, jo joshika eats the noodles okay eats the noodles here you have one example okay eats the noodles joshika eats the noodles means it this is subject this is verb so automatically joshika eats if i tell her joshika eats like that means what is your question uh, what do she eat what does she eat is it what does she what does joshika eat that is your question so here answer is noodles so this is subject so here sorry object here that uh, no, verb eats fo followed and uh, that noodles followed by a uh, so that uh, object okay that eats followed by a object so that's why this, this is called as a transitive verb if you go to the intransitive verb means i have told there is one similarity this is that is object only here that verb doesn't follow the object okay here that verb doesn't follow the uh, object the intransitive and intransitive both are showing some action only both are also that show some action only but it is not like, uh, like a transitive verb it is not uh, followed by a, a direct object intransitive verb not followed by a direct object okay not followed by a direct object uh, first of all you want to know how do you find an object okay so if any sentence i have told many times uh, in the last video if a, if you ask the question of a, what and who means that is comes as a object not followed by a direct object means that is intransitive verb for example i arrived here okay uh, i arrived here here subject verb is arrived actually next one is here so if i tell i arrived here means uh, i arrived means what is your question where did you arrive where did you arrive so here here only is that is the answer so actually uh, i told what and whom only for the object uh, if it is a no, not for what and whom means that is not a object here there is what means that is comes under the adjective only so adjective means there is not a transitive verb this is intransitive verb only okay so this is the difference between transitive and intransitive verb transitive verb followed by a direct object intransitive verb not followed by a direct object and then fourth one is linking verb okay fourth one is linking verb linking verbs here uh, you want to know what do you mean link so you want to connect two things okay so linking verb means you want to connect uh, two things there you can't use uh, any main verb you can't use any main verb instead of that you can use a uh, uh, linking verb so what are they means uh, what are they means am is or was were okay uh, what are the linking verb means am is or was where this is two most important one actually amazon was were called as a b form verbs also okay you can call it as a b form verbs okay this is called as a uh, b form verbs also so uh, these helps to you to link okay to link uh, actually it will not express any action okay it will not not express a action it will not express any action because amazon was were doesn't have any meaning okay so am um, is idukla edume ungalku vandha meaning irukadu okay it not express an action uh, and instead of that it can uh, link a subject and other other things which is followed by a that linking verb uh, they connect the subject to the additional information okay they connect the subject to the additional information for example here uh, b means what you want to know okay b na irithal okay b means irithal uh, 
am is a ross bar also followed by the b form oops means i am i am a doctor naan aasiriyaraga irukiren she is a doctor aval aasiriyaraga irukiral sorry aval marthuvaraga irukiral so like that or also irutal was irundar irundal irundargal so like that past tense you want to use was and were in present tense you want to use am is are so is for singular or for plural here in past tense was for this is is for singular uh, that uh, are for plural here also in past tense was for, was for singular were for plural so okay so here uh, if you go to the linking that verb means uh, that not express an action uh, but it will rather than it connect the subject to the additional information for example uh, they were friends okay they were friends avargal ena actually what is the meaning this is the example okay they were friends means avargal nanbargalaga irundargal okay va so here not uh, they are friends also you can tell but avargal nanbargalaga irukkirargal this is the difference but uh, you can't use instead of were you can't use was because why means here you have a plural they avargal so avargal and mari plural thing subject ah vanduchna inga vandu வேர்பில் வந்து நீங்கள் வந்து அதே இதை தான் யூஸ் பண்ணணும் தே ஆர் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணணும் ப்ளூரல் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணணும் இஃப் இட் இஸ் அ சிங்குலர் மீன்ஸ் யூ கான்ட் யூஸ் தட் ஓகே ஸோ தே ஆர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் தே ஆர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் தே ஆர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே தே ஆர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் வாட் யூ வாண்ட் டு ரைட் இஸ் அனதர் ஒன் மோர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஸ் ஷீ இஸ் அ ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஷீ இஸ் அ ஃப்ரெண்ட் லைக் தட் அவர் எல்ஸ் யூ கேன் ரைட் ஷீ இஸ் அ டீச்சர் லைக் தட் இஸ் இட் கிளியர் so this is about a linking verb so what do you mean linking verb it not it will not express any action instead of that it connect the subject to the additional information which are which is you are going to tell about okay this is about uh, that linking verbs so you can tell amus or was were as a be form verbs also uh, many of you don't know what do you mean be form verbs i think so Uh, now you can clarify what do you mean be form am is or was for am is or for present tense was for for past tense in present tense is for singular or for plural in past tense was for singular were for plural so these are all about linking verbs so fifth one is helping verbs okay fifth one is helping verbs so fifth one is what helping verbs so helping verbs means what means are helping verbs do exactly what it seems like they should do okay they help they help the main verbs to showing that action okay va well, and they are used in cases where the linking verb on its own is not sufficient to form a complete thought or sentence for example uh, if you go to the any continuous tense means that uh, continuous tense must be followed with the ing okay i am walking i am playing actually helping verbs helps to the main verb helps to the main verb uh, uh, for example uh, what are they has have or else uh, will uh, all those in had been has been so like this has have and then had will has been had been had also had been has been and had have has had will and would actually would comes under the auxiliary verbs also okay so here you have that has have will had had been has been had so these are all comes under the what that helping verbs um for example i am walking example i'm give, i will give i am walking i am walking so here i is a subject i am walking is a verb i am walking to the store okay i am walking to the store here uh, actually this is a present continuous so am is for present tense i have told am you want to use for a present tense walking means actually in tamil you can tell it as a naan nadandu kondu irukiren okay so here naan you can use for the word of i nadakkaradhukku you can use the word walk nadandu kondu irukiren 
ஓகே இருக்கிறேன் யூ கேன் யூஸ் த வேர்ட் ஆஃப் ஆம் பட் கொண்டு இருக்கிறேன் ஸோ லைக் தட் யூ வாண்ட் டு யூஸ் ஃபார் ஆல் தோஸ் வேர்ட் யூ வாண்ட் டு யூஸ் சம் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஸோ மெயின் வேர்க் கா மெயின் வேர்க் கான்ட் மேக் எனி சென்டென்ஸ் ப by using simple main verb only if you want to make the sentence for those sentence means that you want to you need that sentence need some help from that uh, am walking like that has been like that have been like that it need some helps so helping verbs helps to the main verb okay helps to the main verbs uh, to make a complete sentence to complete that sentence we uh, to complete that uh, sentence uh, main verb need some help and then helping verb means last one is stative verbs okay six one is stative verbs actually i uh, from the first i have told what is the meaning for state is it how it should be how it be how, like that eppadi irukku abdingal instead of telling a action you can tell it as a uh, stative verbs actually not a uh, both action verbs and stative verb is not the same one actually it is too difficult to identify the stative verbs because and describe the position or state of being describe the position only it describes the position or state of being describes a position or state of being uh, for example you deserve okay you deserve a prize you deserve a prize okay so state sta- uh, stative verbs this i have told is it describe a position or state of being you deserve a prize here you is a subject uh, that uh, deserve is a verb which kind of verb is it means stative verbs how uh, use a subject deserve is a verb how can uh, stative verbs how can you tell the deserve is a stative verb means deserve uh, deserve uh, deserve means other uh, kuithanavargal apdi solla idha vandha namba oru tholilavo idala solla mudiyadhu adu that is not a, uh, any action but that is some position that is a state of being how it uh, you deserve a first prize means and now world edathla irukkadhukku neenga thagudiyanavanga appdi solrappa that is not any action that will not give any action to that subject but that to, that, that tells about the and uh, position of position of the subject so that's why we told that as a um, stative verbs another one example is uh, jan dislikes okay jan dislikes what humidity okay humidity da jans dislike humidity this is also one of the example here so jan dislikes humidity mean jan is subject dislike is a steady verbs because this is not a any action word this is not any action word actually this is a uh, steady verbs only so uh, stat uh, steady verbs means what uh, that position of the subject so he does he doesn't like jan doesn't like that the huma- humidity he doesn't like so that is the position of the subject so that's why we tell it as a steady verbs actually these are all about verbs so now uh, i'm going to recollect all those things so what are they action verbs transitive verbs intransitive verb linking verbs helping verbs stative verbs so these are all about verbs thank you all